Now there's now watch, Beverly. Watch Gasol throw Beverly right out of the way. As soon as he passes this ball, now he just yeah, throws Beverly down. Throws as soon as he throws Beverly to the floor, all right, let's see it from this angle. He'll grab Beverly, throw him down, and then that's when Dwight pushes him. Yep. So the officials now have conferred, and they're going to look at they're going to look at the replay and get the. So at least he's getting everybody else involved. And Lillard goes back court. How about that just by Pat? Look at him get all over the, the ball, knock it loose. It's a backcourt violation. Now right there, he's got to stop. Let's see, he's trying to get the basketball from Lillard. And then a little push right there on Leonard, and that's the team. Kind of answering. Here's a Beverly and uh, Cousins, uh, not close personal friends. Beverly almost gets a steal. Westbrook on the floor, and again, they go after it. Well, he almost gets the steal right there, but that's an obviously a foul. You can't wrap your arms around somebody, but it seems like Pat feeds off of the booze from the crowd. The crowd is all over him, and he is fired up. He's not going to back up. I don't think there's any. Won't go and a shove inside, and here we go. Rudy Gay, great baseline drive, unable to hit the first layup. Great second effort here, and you see Beverly holding on to him, really trying to get him off. There's, there's really no reason for Patrick Beverly to come back with a second shove as Rudy Gay is just trying to shed Patrick at that point. And the referees will confer. It again. Nope. Beverly. Uh oh. So Michael Green doesn't like it. We're gonna have Conley's to in there. He's got a broken back. We need to adjudicate here. Another look at that that sequence. Bruce Paul on the ground. Pat's trying to get that ball. Conley's trying to call timeout. And then the rest of the Grizzlies come in to try to protect their point guard. Well, I don't think Pat was trying to be, watch the Memphis bench. Does anybody come off of the Memphis bench? 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, they all do. A lot of guys. And you see all their assistant coaches trying to keep their guys on the bench, but that's a $25,000 fine. Instead, it's five on four here with James attacking. And that is the second charge. Look out, James. Uh, 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 and Beverly in a straight easy, there. Easy there. Inside the restricted circle. All players stay on their respective benches. So no suspensions going forward, but James bowled over Beverly. And the contact happened. Going strong to the rim. There he is. He's outside the three-point line as the pass is made off. Now, depending upon who you're for, right now you're going to make a decision that the other guy started it, okay? Well, we'll see this a few times. It's going to be very hard to separate here. Well, we're talking about a six foot eight guy at 260 over a guy at six foot one, all right? And then you're going to say whether he allowed him to get up, whether Beverly said something as he was coming up, only the come. Beverly harassing Curry. Beverly, a very physical defender in his call for the foul. And this is what Beverly likes to do. Play very physical. It's been called. He's very physical. See, Beverly reached in after the whistle. Curry objected to that. But this is just good defense. This is playoff basketball. And Steph Cup, I'd want to fight me too. <laughs> Chance of MVP for Curry. The officials were viewing it. Now, there was a technical foul handed out. Whether or not it's. Pick him up way past half court and contest everything, just like he's doing. And then Tony Parker just get jousted in the face by Patrick Beverly. Patrick Slade coming in the big mid comes down Patrick Beverly reached in I think he wanted to foul I don't like if they go flagrant with this I think he was trying to foul he felt they had numbers and he called it flagrant and this is a contact, contact sport.